we, uh, the, the end, this is, this is, uh, so I did this, it was, I think, uh, 2006. So at the end of the year, this was like, I moved up to, to I got a car with the, my assistant and I engineer who, together we started XKCD as like a legitimate business, and he sampled a lot of the store stuff, building backends for things, a, a, a lot of the, the programming for anything that has to be reliable, which I know a lot to touch. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> and and uh, and so so we had gotten to the end of the year. We had just had our first Christmas season, and I had done the Sugo Nakamura sandwich comic, which it turned out a lot of people wanted on T-shirts. And so like we had our first Christmas season, which was crazy, and I didn't realize about Christmas and retail stuff. And like so like we had like profit at the end of the year for the first time, you know, and like a little more than it took to pay rent. And I was like, this is so cool, you know, what do we do? And, and but we're all really, we're, we're like pretty low maintenance, you know, we're like, like just an internet connection and, and a steady supply of hot pockets or whatever. And, you know, the, um, so we're, we're just, we're hanging around and like we've got a, we've got a projector for the living room, one of those LCD ones to watch movies, but then like we, we, we were just putting money away and savings. And I was like, you know what, we should really celebrate. I think we should get, so, so we had this ball pit in my, and that I just had back in my room, like, in the corner. But, so everyone really liked it, but the big complaint was it, that it was too small. <laughs> you know, it was, it, was, it was really, like, it was still about yay deep, and it was, if, if you wanted to get it enough for more than one person to, like, get into, you had to make it kind of shallow, so you couldn't, you could, like, hide under it just under the first layer of ball. It was like, so, like, everyone said, like, this is really cool that we thought about doing a bigger one. So then we have this, this check from you know the end of the year that's that's we run the calculations and there was actually a really helpful uh, 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 reader and she had seen the comic and she hadn't done this but she put together an online calculator which lets you work out given the dimensions of your room and, uh, <laughs> how many of you take color. So we did the calculations and then went on to Tinkercot's website that just like that night in the city and placed an order for. Uh, including ones we just ordered, uh, some, I think it was about, I think it was 10,000 play dead balls. <laughs> <laughs> Which they sell in batches of 100. <laughs> or 500. So we ordered 10,000. <laughs> so I placed this order at about 6 p.m. in this company's in Florida, and then at 6.30 I get a phone call. <laughs> Place an order? Did you just place an order with us for 10,000? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, oh yeah, I'm sorry, is that a problem? Like, I, I don't, do you have, if, 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 do you not have any stock or She's like, no, 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 that is great, please. <laughs> that is cool. I just need to talk to you because we can't actually ship that much by normal routes. We, we're going to have to hire a freight company. So, <laughs> We get this um, this shipment, and I thought the first shipment was like five or six, you know, big two by two by four boxes. And this is it fills the whole entryway up the stairs to our place. We're carting these boxes up one after another and emptying them, and, and knowing that it was arriving, we built a fence and we had cordoned off part of the living room, a small area near the door that you could walk into, and then everything beyond that was in the ball head. <laughs> So we filled most of a fair, or like, you know, maybe, maybe half of a pretty sizable living room up to about the AD. <laughs> and this is where the, the physics actually got interesting, because like up until then, I was going off of vague memories when I was a little kid when uh, the ball heads at McDonald's, which, which also are really only like this deep, even though they feel this deep because you're a little kid. And it turns out that like, at the top, the balls slosh around, and underneath, they like, they're a lot more, it's sort of like they're more viscous. So like, if you settle into it, it'll actually really support you. Like, you, you won't keep sinking, because the balls, like, the, the, the friction, they all join together. And you end up, like, cushioned in whatever position you're in. <laughs> so we set up a projector over the ball head. <laughs> Controllers hanging on top, so we can take the controller, 
sink back in, play the rhythm, and then like once every five hundred minutes, someone would pause and stand, like lift himself back up. <laughs> We had to have like a few ground rules, like no, no food or drink, no um, anywhere in the ball pit, no any activities that are going to leave things in there. <laughs> um, and we actually, it, it was really, we had this in this apartment for, uh, for a couple of years before I moved, and when we cleaned it out, it was like, it, we kept it spotless. Like, it, you know, the, the balls were, it was all a little bit, you know, less shiny than when we started, but really like, Hygiene is not a big problem as long as we're reasonably careful. So, in case anyone's wondering, this is totally a plausible project. I don't know what the rest of hall management We didn't tell our landlord until he came to show the house at one point. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 